Hello everybody. Just wanted to go ahead and make a quick video response for Trudy Craig. She's having a giveaway and what you need to do is leave a comment. Um, I believe be a subscriber and make an altered item out of something you already had. She, she didn't want you to spend any money. Uh, just um, upcycle something that you had and whatnot. Uh, what I did is I made using this uh, little spool, the plastic spool, uh, I made a pin cushion for my daughter. Her birthday's coming up in November. I had made an, a one before and uh, thought I'd go ahead and make another one. Um, I'm not working now, so I'm just trying to use what I have. <laughs> um, I hurt my back at work, so I've been home since February and I should be home like another year. I go to aqua therapy and whatnot. Anyways, on to better things. But you can also use different types of empty ribbon spool that you have to make the pin cushion. What I used is the plastic ribbon holder. I went ahead and washed it out. And then I, once it dried, I used hot glue, hot glued some felt around uh, this part, this part. And then I just put the fancy paper around it, which is the specialty Michaels glitter paper. I don't know, it was like 4 or $4 the other day. And I had... Um, bought some that had been sitting there for a while and uh, my daughter's favorite color is blue so I did uh, a baby blue and I used some flat back pearls this is actually dollar wire it's actually Christmas dollar wire that I had like forever and I just folded it in half and I made some pleated um, a pleated trim around the top and bottom I used glossy accents to put the flat back pearls all the way around it and the inside is just fiber fill with some satin white satin with a gray over it. I really wanted to use this um, trim, but it wasn't wide enough to cover the top, so I just used that. And um, these, um, I this stick pin I really love, but it's just not long enough. I wish it was just a bit longer. And this is a vintage pin. It's a little butterfly. And this is a, also a blue vintage pin. And this is actually a vintage pin with the Lord's Prayer prayer on it. I don't think you can see it, but it's actually teeny tiny well, let's see here maybe see teeny tiny it's the Lord's Prayer on there my nails are a mess gotta get those done anyways um, and then the bottom I use a three and a half inch scallop circle I just punched out the uh, some of the glitter uh, paper and hot glued it to the bottom to cover the trim pleats and um, and this I left um, I didn't usually I would hot glue that down and I didn't this time because I um, I don't know if I like the way the gray looks. But um, this is going to be part of her her birthday gift. She had said she, about getting a sewing machine. She's getting she's in the Air Force and she's getting ready to go uh, to Japan or Korea. I don't know. She was in Iraq. She was at Langley. Then she went to Iraq and then she came back. And then she went to Korea and um, now she's back at Langley. So she's fixing to go somewhere else. I think. Uh, either Korea or um, Japan. I can't remember. Anyways, but this is her gift. She said she wanted a sewing machine, so I thought this would be a great gift to accommodate that so she can have a little pincushion to go along with the sewing machine. Just something, you know, quick and easy. I had a lot of fun making it. Um, you know, just something, you know, something to, to put her pins and whatnot. Well, I hope everybody liked my submission. Um, f feel free to subscribe to uh, Tr Trudy Craig's page. She's got a lot of inspirational stuff. I, I loved how that she had the the journal to be you know write down something that had to be grateful with. That was a, a wonderful idea. Um, I think every day is truly a blessing. Well, with all that, I hope everybody has a great day. Hope you liked my project and. Uh, that's all. Have a great day. Bye.